punishment has accumulated to the point where Cotto has nothing left. And Evangelista Cotto is going to throw in the towel. And Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. That is a Whatever happened prior, the fighters made their way into the arena just past 8 p.m. Vegas time. Cotto entered the ring as nearly a two to one favorite. And early on, the odds makers' assessments appeared to be on target. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in yeah. the early going. The first half of the fight, you know, we were good, like happy with the West performance. As the fight continued, Cotto remained in control with a skillful display of boxing. But Margarito withstood the attack and continued to press forward. Cotto's going, but Margarito is really putting a lot of pressure on him, unlike any he's ever had. Cotto was out boxing, but at the same time, he was getting hit. Every round, Antonio would come in and say, hey, I'm getting him, I'm getting him. Little by little, but I'm going to take him out. I remember sitting at the back with Brian and um, I looked over him, I think, at round three or four, and I said, for sure, you know, Miguel's got this one. He just looked like he was dominating Margarita. And I think it was as early as the sixth or seventh round, he took a shot from Margarita. And something in time, inside me just told me that that was the turning point of, of the night. Cotto's hurt, guys. Cotto's badly hurt. hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts. Yo creo que quedándole la presión a cualquiera cualquier peleador pues yo creo que que lo cansa yo creo que lo cansa no es que se le va al aire porque pues uno lo está presionando no when the fight advances and advances something tells me you're not ready you know you're, you're, you're tired you're tired you're tired all my energy all my power all my strength I didn't feel anything para el asalto número 10 Yo este, le dije a Capetillo, le dije, es mío ya, le vamos a ganar. Y, y pues sí, pronto se acabó. The punishment has accumulated to the point oh, where Cotto has nothing left. There's no point in Kenny Bayless allowing this to proceed. No, it's over, it's over. Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. That is a modern boxing classic. For the six months following his victory, Margarito was one of the hottest fighters in the sport. But then came the controversy of the Mosley bout and the consequent renewed scrutiny of his victory over Cotto. No one was more suspicious than Cotto himself. The boxer has since closely examined pictures of Margarito's hand wraps taken after their bout and determined something peculiar. No one, the history of boxing, can, can see a hand wrapping broken over the knuckles. You never can find an explanation for this little part here. It's just supposed to be just gas, and the gas doesn't get hard. Ay, ese coto, ese coto, como llora, como, como, como pone pretextos. As further proof of his argument that Margarito used the exact same hardened wraps in both bouts. They took off the hand wraps in his locker room, right? They didn't put a gloves, a glove on, on his hand. Why the hand wraps have a red color there if you didn't put a glove in your hand? If you compare the red in this picture, with this picture, is in the same spot. And if they took this one from Mosley fight, it's the same wraps he used in my fight. That pictures make me understand he used it with me. For Cotto and his team, though, the issue remains unforgettable, and the sin unforgivable. He played with my health, you know. He has plaster. On, on his hand, hitting me with the, with the plaster, you know? Thanks God again, I'm healthy, but the thing could be worse. For these 21,000 mostly Puerto Rican fans, if Margarito beats Cotto down again, but what a dream come true if Cotto can get his revenge. Now here comes the man who 
is ranked by most competent rating services right now as the number one fighter in the 154 pound weight class. Revenge or repeat? He had better hand speed, better power, better combinations, better foot speed, and he had a brilliant amateur background on top of that. And it punches off and a lot sharper than I expected. I thought he would have been much slower than he is. But And he's giving Margarito chances on the inside here. It's a fight. Good left hook by Cotto. But, but Cotto's fighting as though he doesn't have the same fear of Margarito's punches in their first fight. And locking up with Margarito and pushing back at the end of the round. But the big moment in that round was a left hook from Cotto that has opened up Tony Margarito's right eye. Fight and Margarito. there's blood in Margarito's right eye. Margarito's right eye is already showing blood. What a round. They both landed 23 power shots. Margarito threw 99. Let's take a step to the right. He's got a right eye. So he's already got mind in the right eye in their fight. A lot of now stands his ground. Look at Cotto pushing Margarito back again. This is something he never did in the first fight. He gets a, he That's a close. big change from what he did last time. And Cotto gets in the right hand right after the bell. Margarito still stalking, stalking, stalking. Cotto. Body shots. And a left hook upstairs from Cotto. And another left hook. He's fighting a far different fight now than he was fighting in round nine of the first fight. Puerto Ricans come to their feet as Cotto hammers Margarita with another no, left no, to the no, eye. No, 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 no. We're three quarters of the way through. Oh. Oh. It's over. It's over and revenge is sweet. After the fight was stopped, you went to Margarito's corner and stared at him for what seemed like quite a while. Why? Just to look at him, you know and taste my victory on him. You're going to see Miguel Cotto try to continue polishing his image as the best young fighter in the sport. That was just a perfectly thrown combination. I've said it many times, Miguel Cotto doesn't just beat you, he beats you up. Cotto always fights back. He doesn't want any more, and Arthur McKinney stops the fight. Celebration time for Miguel Cotto. Cotto showing you his enormous courage. Cotto has nothing left. Does Miguel Cotto still really want to fight? This is a tremendous fiscal effort. He's making Puerto Rico proud. Mexico, Puerto Rico, the two best 154 pound fighters in the world. Cotto comes back with the left hook to the body. That was the punch that once defined Miguel Cotto's career. Cotto was beating the hell out of him. It's over, and revenge is sweet. A sensational performance by Miguel Cotto. Down goes Martinez. The biggest night of Miguel Cotto's career.